like to share with you today some time-saving cutting techniques and joining me is Joan Fee. Welcome. Thanks Tiffany. We are introducing onto our show fist scars. I'm delighted to be able to do a segment with fist scars and I gave Joan the task of, of trying out the rotary cutters and sharing with us all the different things that you can do. I took this home and I had a great time. But in the three-piece cutting center, we have, it comes with the rotary cutter with just a straight blade, and then an acrylic ruler, and then a cutting mat. Now we'll talk a little bit about each individual component of that. We have the rotary cutter, and this is just so nice. It has its contoured right here, so it fits nicely in your hand, and there's not a lot of fatigue. You can just cut for hours and hours with this. And then we have the acrylic ruler, and as you can see, there are two different colors, the black and the orange, which makes it really nice and easy to read. The black are one-inch squares, and the orange are divided into one-inch measuring segments. And then the mat. I'm just so excited about this <laughs> mat because I'm a quilter, and the mat that I have been using is not a self-healing mat. And I'll show you how this works. You first of all take the rotary cutter, and you want to push the orange button here that will release the blade. And we'll take our ruler here and just line it up. And this is eight layers of fabric that we're going to be cutting here. And it is just so effortless. Wow, look at how easy right. that is. And be sure when you're done to press the button to put it back into the storage position so you won't get cut, because that is a razor right. sharp blade on there. And, and once you release the button, it puts the blade so it's back in the cover. Okay, so what I was talking about self-healing is you don't even see the line here that this cut, even though the rotary cutter is razor sharp. As you mentioned, you've been using another brand, and you found in your quilting work, after using it for a while, you start getting grooves. Right, and it makes it really difficult to get a nice mm -hmm. straight edge. Kind of, <laughs> it forms little bumps in your cutting board. And so you won't have that problem at all right. with the Viscars mat. I'll tell you, show you other things that we can cut. This is something, it's a piece of leather, and it's about an eighth, eighth of an inch thick, and my husband went and borrowed this from a friend, and when he brought it home, I said, this will never cut. So in amazement, I stood there, and I cut this leather. This is just so easy. It just does it, cuts like butter. And we'll, of course, put our safety on. There you have it. So from thin fabric to thicker pieces right. of material. You can also do paper, and we also have fancy little edged edges for our blades here. There's a wave edge blade and also a pinking blade, so you can cut fancy little edges to paper and felt, and I've even used it on a lean shrink it. That's great. What an easy way, and you can have one continuous cut. Sometimes with pinking shears or wavy blade shears, you have to stop and readjust and align them back up in order to get your pattern. Right. And this is something else, too. I've just had so much fun <laughs> since she sent this home with me to change the blades. I have a blade or a rotary cutter at home. It has like about 10 different components, and it's like, okay, now where did I take off this off from? But okay, so we just lay it down on our cutting board, and we're going to unscrew this nut here. And we'll take off this blade, and we'll be very careful lifting that off. And then we'll take another blade out of this little plastic storage container. We'll lay that back in there. We'll lay the cutter back on, and we'll screw on that nut. And that's all there is to it, to change the different blades. And of course, we'll have to remember to put this back into the little storage container over here. And again, very, very right. carefully when you pick that up. Right. And you can adjust this for left or right handers right. cutting. So you can see the blades here. Mm -hmm. They also have the same grooves over here so that you can use it for left-handed persons. Joan, let's go back and take a look at the three-piece cutting center. This is what we are offering in our Get Acquainted offer, and it's great to get you started. I know I have you converted. You sure do. <laughs> Absolutely. This course has put together the rotary cutter, the cutting mat, and the acrylic ruler. Thank you so much for sharing this today. You're welcome. Thank you. And I'll see you soon. <laughs>